Hi everyone, China just made AI education mandatory for every school child. Yes, even the six years old will start to learn AI early next year. In the US, President Trump just signed a major executive order to boost AI learnings in school. And what about India? We are moving but may be a little slow as compared to these countries. But here is the real question. If children are learning AI in school, then what do professionals like you and me need to do? We definitely need to move faster. So in this video, let's uncover cover all of that. First, let's talk about China's big move. China has officially announced that from September 2025, AI education will be mandatory across all primary and secondary schools. Students will get a minimum of 8 hours of AI instructions annually. Young kids will learn basic concepts through interactive activities. And older students will learn machine learning, robotics and real world AI applications. So why is China doing this? They are doing this to build a workforce for the future and to dominate the next wave of global innovation. They want to make AI literacy as basic as learning to read, write and do math. The message is clear from China, AI isn't optional anymore. It is a foundational skill. Alright, so that was about China. Now what about United States? On April 23rd, 2025, President Trump signed the executive order called Advancing Artificial Intelligence Education for American Youth. Here are some key highlights of this order. Number one, launch of a White House Task Force on AI Education. Number two, encouragement of AI industry partnerships. Number three, funding support for teacher training programs in AI. And number four, AI challenges and hackathons to drive students' interest. But here's the catch. In United States, education is state-driven. It is not centralized like China. So, some states like California and Texas are racing ahead, but others are still figuring it out. So, the bottom line is United States is making strong moves, but how consistent it will reach each and every student is still too early to predict and a little uncertain. Now, with that said, let's talk about India. What are our strengths? What are we doing about it? And are there any gaps? So, first of all, good news. India has also taken some major steps. Number one, CBSE has introduced AI as an elective subject for class 9th to class 12th. Number two, schools in Delhi are starting AI education right from kindergarten. And there is a 500 crore budget to set up AI centers of excellence. Now, having said that, what are India's strengths? India's strength is its youth. India's young population is the largest in the world. India has high mobile and internet penetration. And we definitely have a global reputation in the tech space. But what are some of our challenges? One big gap is between urban and rural access to AI education. And our focus is still on optional. Our focus is not on making it mandatory. That's the second challenge. And the third is lack of trained teachers at school level. So, in reality, India is making some moves, but the scale and urgency are much, much lower as compared to China. Now, with all of that said, why should working professionals like you and me care about all of this? Why should actually all of this matter to us? Let's look at that. Point number one is that in 5 to 10 years from now, a new workforce will emerge. These will be people who will be trained trained on AI from day one. So, point number two is because of that workforce, at all levels, AI literacy will be expected. So, just for basic career growth, promotions, leadership roles, 
you will be expected to know AI. And of course, point number three, that if you know AI, then only you will be considered as valuable. So you won't be just competing with your peers. You would be actually competing with AI native professionals. So if we ignore AI today, we will have to pay a heavy price tomorrow. So what are some practical steps and actions that we should take as working professionals? Number one is get hands-on with AI tools. Whether it is using chat GPT to write better emails or brainstorming ideas, whether it is using BARD or Perplexity for research, or whether it is using Canva AI for presentations and graphics, we need to become hands-on. Staying hands-off is not going to help us. That's point number one. Point number two, take beginner-friendly courses. Build AI awareness. For example, AI for Everyone by Andrew NG. This is a free course on Coursera. And if you go to Microsoft and Google's website, you will find many courses that they have made available for free. All we need to do is put some time and efforts and do some fundamental level courses so that our AI quotient or our AI awareness is at a higher level. That's point number two. Now point number three, apply AI to your current job. Of course, this has to be done after permission from your employer or client, but start to think. Let's say, for example, if you are a finance professional, how can you use AI for predictive analytics? Second example, if you are an HR professional, how can you use AI for employee engagement? And third, if you are a marketing professional, how do you use AI for campaign optimization? And of of course, lastly, if you are an IT professional, how do you use AI for writing code? So understanding how to apply these AI tools at your job is a very crucial step. And that's step number three. Now let's move to step four, which is set a micro learning goal for yourself, which can be something like that. I will learn one AI tool in the next 30 days because small improvements become massive over a period of time. So set micro goals for yourself. All right. So to conclude, AI is not the future. AI is the present. School kids are preparing for it. Countries are preparing for it. So why should you and me not prepare for it? So start small, but start today. Drop a comment and let me know what is that one thing which you are going to do in the next 30 days to improve your AI quotient. All right. I hope this gives you a lot of context and perspective. If you like the video, do hit the like button and add your thoughts in comments. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you feel this is useful, share it in your WhatsApp groups. I will see you in another video soon. Take care and bye for now.